You, finally awake. Total War Shogun 2 received another update. Did they finally fix Kyushu Ninja units? Did they add a Korea map? Did they add more playable clans? No, of course they didn't. It's just a small update. Following the major update on May 24th, Shogun 2 has received a series of small quiet updates under the radar. This recent update even applied to previous versions of the game. So this video is a, yep, you guessed it, an update to the previous video I made, which is here. Link is in the description. In that video, most of you were commenting with concerns about the mod manager not working, which was devastating. But the community found several ways to restore it, and the easiest option was to go to Steam, Properties, Betas, and revert to this previous version of Shogun 2, pre-Linux 2022. This restored the Shogun 2 mod manager appearing as you loaded the game and also restored multiplayer chats. Yet now you can no longer access the mod manager with this recent update, even on this previous version. However, screenshots from the official Total War Discord server here show that Creative Assembly has worked and is currently testing a fix for the mod manager. Additionally, they said it was never their intention to remove access to the mod manager with these recent updates. What I fail to understand is why they didn't bring this up or mention it in a community announcement to the players. It would be beneficial if CA were more transparent about this whole process on the Steam community page, as not everyone is in the official Total War Discord. I assume there will be another announcement once this update with the mod manager releases. So yes, it would be great if the mod manager was restored, as mods are what keep this great game going after 12 years. And the modding community has created excellent content, and I plan to cover more mods on this channel, so of course having the mod manager would be helpful with that. Even still, you can play with mods currently by using the scripts folder in Shogun 2. Just follow this pathway right here. You need to then create a user script and copy the names of your mods from your data folder into the script, and then run Shogun 2. I got this info from the Pilps Discord server by Shogun2 modder named Orenzi, who is also on my server. So hopefully this scripts solution works for your mods. Again, if you have any further questions, need help, need to troubleshoot some things, feel free to join my Discord. Link is in the description. I'd be happy to help or direct you to some people who could help you. So again, I hope that fix works for your mods. Also, with all these updates, there's no indication that they're bringing back the multiplayer chats. But I'm curious as to why they cannot test a new chat system right away. I assume it is a more challenging endeavor. But still, Shogun 2 multiplayer is so unique with the Avatar Conquest system that it would be a shame if the chats never receive an update, as it's the greatest Total War multiplayer feature out of all of its titles. I read most of your comments on my previous video about this, saying that it was due to the legal changes within the UK that the chats were removed. And that's understandable, and I want to emphasize that I was never against chat monitoring systems. What I was against was the fact that CA decided to update Shogun 2 12 years after the fact, and that they had plenty of opportunities to establish chat monitoring systems within Shogun 2, but refused to do so until a legal change forced them to. Again, overall, I'm just disappointed that there was no mention of any updating chat features for Shogun 2 multiplayer in the foreseeable future. Regardless, though, restoring the mod manager would be great, as I said, because mods add so much replayability and further immerses the player into Total War Shogun 2. So we'll see if this fix releases soon and whether it restores the mod manager. If Creative Assembly is willing to continue with updates to its legacy titles, I hope they listen to the communities who still play these games and address any bugs or other issues that are present with the game. I doubt they will, but clearly they have the capability to do so. As always, thanks for watching and take care.